everybody comes to the victory party. I believe it was John F. Kennedy that said, victory has a thousand fathers, but defeat is an orphan. Uh, think about that. And Jesus said, y'all, I told you the whole story, but you only wanted to deal with one half of the story. And because of that, you had object permanence. You got scared when the first part came. God is saying, even here at Greater Bethesda, he tells me this every day, don't get scared in the first part. God has shown me so many things about this ministry. He has blown my mind. Sometimes I walk smiling just at some of the things God has shown me that he's going to do in this ministry. But he says, don't be scared at the first part. Uh, it, it, it's going to be hard in the first part. Don't be scared. There's going to be day every, every Sunday I wake up, Lord, am I going to be standing here by myself? He said, don't be scared <laughs> of oh, that part. He said, because the entire procedure, the entire prophecy must be fulfilled yeah. in order for me to get the glory. We have to start with the seed. Yeah. You can't start with the rose. You got to start with the seed. Uh, don't, you have to put, you got to be put in the dirt in order for the rose to grow. You got to have dirt and you got to have rain and you got to have sun and you got to have snow and you got to have wind. You got to have all of those things in order for the rose to grow. Don't be in such a rush. God says, some of y'all, I don't know who I'm talking to, young people or seasoned people, I don't know who I'm talking to, but God is saying, stop being in such a rush. Yes. Huh? You cannot skip past. That's right. God is a God of procedure. Yes. My God, my oh, God, my yes. God. I'm talking. He's a God of procedure. He said, you can't start on C, you must start on A. Because yes. what's going to happen is if you start on C, I'm going to take you back to A. <laughs> You might know somebody who have E and F and G for you, and you come in to try to sneak it on G. But won't he take you back to A? I know, I know he will. It's better for you to start on A than for God to have to carry you back to A. Uh, has anybody ever been humbled and brought back to A? God, my, and we didn't like it. I don't want to speak for me. I ain't like it. I ain't like it. I felt some kind of way when he took me back to A. But it is good that I have been afflicted. Woo! That he's a God of process. And he's a God of procedure. So he had to take me back so I could understand. There was a lesson in B. Woo! Woo! Hey! 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 See, there was something short and there was something in B that he wanted me to see. He couldn't put me on G because there was a lesson in B. Eddie. It was B. Hallelujah. So he said, in order for you to get B, I got to take you all the way back to A. Because uh, some of us is on H I J K L M N A, and we have not learned the lesson from B. Somewhere in this line, because the testing will be, God wants to see, do you know every letter in this alphabet? Do you know every one? Have you learned each lesson from A? Did you learn the lesson from J? Did you learn the lesson from R? And so, at some point, you're going to need B. When you least expect it, you will need B. So don't despise when God takes us back to A, when he starts us off in a schoolhouse. Oh, yes. He said, nah, uh, uh, don't get excited. Calm down. Yes, sir. Here we go. Huh? Calm down. Because uh, when I build you a big edifice and all that kind of stuff, I want you to remember, because guess what? We might be in a 10,000 seat edifice with millions and millions of dollars worth of equipment and one switch go off and the music don't work. So guess what I want you to remember? I want you to remember when you were at James Madison Middle School and you had to clap. Hey, my God, I want you to recall woo, hey, hey, that we didn't need all this guitars and we, we had all these acoustics and all this kind of stuff. All that is nice, but it is not required that I might carry you to the top. I might carry you in front of great men, but I want you to remember that if the switch go out, <laughs> that I'm still there. Woo, don't get object permanent on me now. Woo, that if, if there's somebody talk about you, I'm still there. Yeah. If things don't work out your way, I'm, I'm still there. Yeah. When you go to the bank, if the bank say no, I'm still there. Don't get excited, but you got to learn the lesson at B. In order to get to R and S and understand S, you must learn the lesson of B. My, okay, all right. Woo, 
Thank you, Jesus. Now, now, verse 27, verse 27 says, He began at, and beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. He talked about it by he finally exposed them. And they drew nigh unto the village whither they went. And he made as though he would have gone further, yet he was about to leave. But they constrained him and saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening and the day is far spent. And he went in to tarry with them. And it came to pass that as he sat, verse 30 now, and it came to pass as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave them. And their eyes, Sister Serena, did you all say that? And their eyes were opened and they knew him. Mm. Now, now, after, it's after verse 27 says, he had explained the word from Moses, the books of Mogenesis, all the way up to him, from the Old Testament all the way to the New Testament. After he, so, and, and the Lord told me to tell you this, and it might seem self-aggrandizing, but the point is, God told me to tell you, don't think you don't need preaching. Don't think that we, you get so mature that you don't need to hear the word of God. Oh, yes. That's right. Not just CDs and DVDs and all that kind of stuff, but the Bible says, fail ye not the assembling of yourself together. Huh? Don't know. I, I know I, I, I got to hear me every now to again. I got to hear me as a preacher. Uh, hey man, my wife will tell you, I'm in the car, I will, it don't make no difference to me. I got, but that, because in order to be fortified and edified, it takes the word of God. It don't take singing. Singing is good, but that's not going to get you. Huh? Service with your hands going to feed, that's good, but that's not going to get you. Man, shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And so Jesus had to speak to them and teach them because that is what they needed. Right? After they had been with them, after they had seen miraculous things, they still had to sit and be taught. Oh yes, the word of God. Amen, the word of God. Amen. So they go, and, and, and it says, verse 30, that he took the bread Blessed it. Yes. Uh, what does that sound like to y'all? Communion. communion. After he had communion, yes. right? He said, This is my body, which is broken for you. Take, eat, and as often as you eat this, do this in remembrance of me. This is the blood that was shed. For, am I right? Yes. And so after they took that, it said, If I make sure I make sure I'm saying it right. After he broke it and gave to them, right after that, Tina said, and their eyes were open. Oh, they remembered. Uh, then they remembered him. After they supped with him and died with him, then they remembered who, they, who it was. Not before, not while he was walking with them, not while he was talking with them, but when they began to partake of the suffering, after they went back to part A, Right, and he said the whole prophecy has to be fulfilled. We go, you won't reign with me in glory, but we have to remind you of the blood that was shed. I got to remind you of, of the body that was broken. So after you have consumed of my suffering, then you recognize who I am. Amen. But look what happened. Said they knew him, and he vanished as soon as they figured out who he was. He vanished. Wow. Why would you do that? Because the whole point was, the Bible says that the just shall live by faith. Right. From the very beginning, his expectation was that you was going to live by faith. Uh, I came back because I said I was coming back, but my expectation is when I leave here that you're going to continue to live by faith. So I, I didn't come to stay, that's later when I come to, to judge the world. But I, I'm leaving here now, but I want to make sure that you're living by faith. So as soon as you figure out who I am, then I will leave. Their eyes were open to realize this whole thing was a faith walk from the beginning. Huh? That the reason I showed up just this last time was so that y'all could see real quick, make sure you're on the right page, and then I'll go. Uh, do you have faith? Again, peekaboo. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I came in. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, now I got to go again. Yes. Are you going to panic? No, I 
When you don't see me, are you going to panic? Uh, uh, when, when you don't feel me like you did when you first got saved, are you going to panic? Or do you have object permanence? Have you matured enough to realize that I am who I said that I am? Yes. I, I am a way maker because I said I'm a way maker. Oh, yes. I am a healer because healing is the children's prayer. I told you who I was. Do you believe me? Yes. You can't see me no more, but do you have the faith? Because at this point, it's all about faith. And they said one to another, verse 32, Did not our hearts burn within us while he talked with us by the way? And while he opened to us the scriptures? And they rose up the same hour and returned to Jerusalem. And found the eleven gathered together. And them that were with them. Saying, the Lord is risen indeed and hath appeared unto Simon. It took all that, it took a long walk for them to realize that the Lord is risen. Uh, some, some of us, it's taken us a long walk to get to today, to realize that he's risen in our lives. Is there anybody here, because now I'm close, can I play something real soft, real, real soft. Is there anybody here who's at the point in their lives where they re they're ready to connect with Jesus. You recognize that he died and he rose again for you. Uh, that, that you want to walk like Cleopas said Luke did. And when Jesus comes, you want to recognize him. You want to commune with him. You want, you want him to expound on the scripture with you. You want to claim him as your own, the Lord of your life. If you can't think of a specific day and time when you made Jesus the Lord of your life, yes. let it be today. What better day than the day we celebrate his resurrection? Uh, we are the only religion where our Savior lives. <laughs> real, real simple. I've had so many arguments, I'm not going to argue no more. Go look. I'll take you where Buddha is. They got velvet rope around there, everything. They won't let you go there because they know he down there. No. Confucius down there. But I'll take you where Jesus is. Or was. Yeah, yeah. He's not there. Not there. Is there one Hallelujah. who will give their life to the Lord today? Hallelujah. This is soul business. This is what it's about. Yeah, uh, not new suits and all that. This is about Jesus. Hallelujah. Huh? And giving our life to him. Amen. Bow your heads with me. Our Father and our God, we thank you. We thank you for resurrecting power. We thank you, God, that even though we can't see you, God, sometimes, we ask you right now to give us the strength to have the object permanence. Give us the strength to recognize that when we can't see, feel, taste, hear, smell you, that you have not left us, that you continue to exist. Give us a close walk with you, God, so when you show yourself, we recognize you. But most of all, God, give us the faith. Give us a greater measure of faith. For we know that without faith, it's impossible to please you. Father God, let everything we do tell you, come on back to get us. Everything we do, let us do it in faith. When we sing, let us sing in faith. When we sow and give, God, let us give in faith. When we minister, God, let us minister in faith in all that we do. Father God, let us do it in faith. In your resurrecting power. Bless us and keep us. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. amen.